Dam impacts. We're ready. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are tackling the JDAM training. So let's see. Da -da 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 -da. A lot of things to read. We did the previous one, GPS munitions programming. Da -da -da. Let's go. Welcome to the Hornet. Joint Direct Attack Munitions Training. In this lesson, you will learn to employ the GBU-38 and GBU-31 in pre-planned and target of opportunity modes. You will also learn how to execute a sensor to JDAM handle. This lesson assumes that you have completed F-18 GPS Weapon Data Entry Training. You begin airborne in active pause. Your Hornet is configured as it would be for this portion of a flight. Master Arm is on and air to ground mode is set. Unless otherwise indicated, most highlighted button presses and spacebar presses will immediately forward the lesson to the next step. On your first time through the training, it is recommended that you listen fully to each set of instructions before taking the action that will move the lesson forward. When ready to continue, Press the spacebar. In order to successfully fly this mission, you will need to engage the autopilot in two configurations, coupled heading barometric altitude hold and heading selected barometric altitude hold. You will also need to operate the HSI on the center AMPCD. Specifically, you must know how to step waypoints, designate a waypoint as a target, and set the heading bump. These topics have been covered in previous Hornet training flights. Review the instructions on the following screens, press spacebar to step through the autopilot instructions, and return to the training flight. Now press the spacebar to begin this review. Alright, so if you haven't been following the other videos, waypoint designated autopilot. B alt the CPL just follows the lines uh, waypoints and let's see and heading select right there move the heading heading select B alt keeps you at your barometric altitude so yep power up align the JDAMs and bring up the GBU-38 page by pressing PB6J82. The first step is to set the electronic fuse for the GBU-38s by pressing PB3E fuse. And then PB3INST for instantaneous. To begin programming the details of each target, Bring up the JDAM display screen by pressing PB11, JDAM display. This screen is the GPS weapon display containing essential JDAM information. It is the display you will use to program, monitor, and employ JDAMs. In the upper left corner, the current weapon station, weapon readiness, mission mode, and weapon type are shown. In the center of the screen, the weapon alignment status is shown. Just below that is the weapon release settings. Around the edge of the screen are push button indicators for important functions, specifically mission display, release quantity, and step to switch to the next available station. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with this display. When ready to continue, press the spacebar. <clears throat> Alrighty. Mission type, release type, erase JDAM, step, HSI. Alright, let's go. 
starting with the GBU-38 on Station 8, press PB-4, Mission. You now see all the details for this JDAM. To begin entering the required data via the upfront controls, press PB-14. Program Station 8 with the following data, not narrated. When finished, press the spacebar. Alrighty, perfect. So, like the previous video for the training, we got term, angle is 45, enter, we hit UFC and UFC one more time, go into position, latitude, and it's north, 42, 55, 17, right? Yep. Enter, and then the decimal point right here enter and we got it right here now we're going to do longitude east 4132 east 4132 22 two. enter decimal points 18 enter and see how it pops there and now we got to hit ufc ufc one more time elevation make sure you choose either feet or meters right so this one's feet and that's seven three one enter and there it is toggle target ufc off by press the next step is to program station two press pb13 step there we In go upper left corner step two see station two which will be programmed to pp1 select pb14 ufc target program station two with the following data when finished, press the spacebar. Same thing, 45. Position, lat is north 42. North 425512. Enter, decimal points 89. Now for the longitude, we got East 41, 3, 2, 2, 3, enter, 6, 1, and then elevation, feet, 7, 15. And there we got it right there. At this point, it is good practice to check the inner data one last time. Using step, shift back and forth between station 2 and station 8. Important, when you are done, set step to station 8. Then press PB19, return. There we go. Since the first two targets are close to each other, you are going to release a single salvo of two JDAM, one from station 8 and one from station 2. Press quantity PB15 to bring up the quantity selection. Press PB11 and PB14 to select station 2 and station 8. Then press PB15. Return. You are ready to begin the first attack run. On the HSI, set the heading bug to 040. Set autopilot couple B alt. When ready to fly, Press the spacebar. Zero four zero. That doesn't make any sense. Because we're going through here, right? That's four. That should be here, if I'm not mistaken. After JDAN drop. After the JDAN drop, 040, right? Well, let's see. Set AP, CP, and B alt. So let's do that. Right. Observe the HSI and HUD. The time to max range countdown should begin. You will also see the in range circles on the HSI. 
on the HSI, when you enter the outer large circle, it will change to a pie shape. On the HUD, in zone will appear. Press and hold the weapons release button. 15 seconds. Press and hold. We are about to go into this pie. In zone. Jadem away. Jadem's away. At this point, you have done your job, and the rest is up to the Jadems. Slow to 400 knots indicated. Bring up the target area on the at flare by setting autopilot, heading select, B alt. Then designate waypoint one as the target. Maneuver to keep the target area in sight of the Affleer pod. So here we go. These two targets right there. Blur or IR. Come on. You are in active pause to observe the JDAM impacts. When ready to continue, press the space bar. Should be hitting. Come on. <laughs> Pop. Yeah, there it is. Chuck damage. Hangar destroyed. There's the smoke. <clears throat> Beautiful. Your next target is a bunker, a hard target requiring penetrator weapons. On the left DDI, press PB7J109 to select the 2 GBU31 version 4B. As you did with the GBU38s, use PB3 E-Fuse to bring up the electronic fuse options. The JDAM must get through the bunker's hardened exterior to detonate inside. To set the fuse to delay, to allow time for this penetration, press PB4, delay 1. Next, press PB11, JDAM display, to bring up the JDAM display. This target requires two GBU-31s to ensure a kill. Press PB15, fun. Press PB12 and PB13 to select Station 3 and Station 7, then press PB-50. In the upper left corner, note that Station 7 is selected. Press PB-4, Mission. Toggle to TOO by pressing PB-5. Next, bring up the Target of Opportunity UFC functions by pressing PB-14. You will notice that in Target of Opportunity mode, the choices are limited to the terminal parameters. Heading angle and velocity. The JDAMs will require a high angle of impact and a high velocity at impact to aid in target penetration. Enter the below settings then press the space bar to continue. Alrighty so here we only have angle and velocity so angle is 80 velocity is 900. Using PB-13 step, toggle to station 3. And repeat the process with the same parameters shown. When finished, press the space bar to continue. Once entered, they show up right here. And space bar. 
press push button 13, step, to return to station 7. To set the TOO target coordinates on the HSI, press push button 12 to step to waypoint 2, then press PB14, waypoint designate. On the JDAM display, check to see RP coordinates are displayed for station 7, then press step to ensure station 3 RP coordinates are displayed. Return to the JDAP display page yep. by pressing push button 19. To begin the attack run, you will aggressively turn towards the target, set throttle to afterburner, and pitch up to 20 to 25 degrees nose up to begin a climb to 20,000 feet MSL. On the HSI, set the heading bug to the target heading. Turn off autopilot heading select and be off. When ready to fly and execute these maneuvers, press the space bar. All right, here we go. Aggressively. Feet, turn towards the target. On the HUD heading tape, the target heading is marked with a small diamond. Afterburner. Yep. Climb up to 20,000. <laughs> more of a steep climb level off and steady on a heading to the target adjust the heading bug to match the heading to target set autopilot heading select be alt accelerate to above 400 knots indicated when in zone, ensure wings level, press and hold weapons release until both JDAMs are away. Wings are leveled as best as they can. JDAM away. JDAM's away. <laughs> With the JDAMs on the way, observe the target area ah, of the aft flare and there they are. To keep the target area inside <laughs> of the aft flare pod. Slow down. We're gonna be flying over it. I don't think they're gonna do a active pause. Let's see. You are an active pause. Oh, he did. Observe <laughs> JDAM impacts. We're ready. Press the space bar. Ooh. Nice. Did some damage there. <laughs> On to our next one. The third target are two Scud launchers that have been recently delivered by a neutral country IL-76 cargo aircraft. The Scud tells are the targets. The cargo aircraft is not a target. HSI, step to waypoint three. Designate the waypoint as target. Waypoint designate. Set heading bug to target heading. Press the space bar when complete. There we go. Next, make the GBU 38s active again by pressing in order, push button 18, press push button 11, again we will be dropping both JDAMs in a salvo. Press push button 15, quantity, followed by push button 11, station 2, and push button 14, station 8. Return to the JDAM display with push button 15, return. Press the mission page, push button 4. Toggle the Station 8 JDAM to 
TOO by step two, station two. I'm sorry, I just... Push button 13, step. Step. Toggle the station two JDAM to TOO by pressing push button five. Press push button seven to select TOO2. Press step to return to station eight. This attack will require two sensor to JDAM handoffs. To prepare, complete the following. Right side panel, LTD R to R. F clear, set LTD R to activate on a short trigger pull by selecting trig, push button 11. Make F clear soy by pressing OTAS SCS right short. Set at flare to scene by pressing HOTAS SES right short again. Up front controls. Ensure autopilot heading select B Alt is engaged. When ready to fly, press the space bar to continue. Alrighty, so my stick doesn't have a uh, what's it called? A second detent on the trigger so once you hit this means that from what I've the research that I've done if it's boxed you have to press the laser to keep the laser on as you can see we activated the laser laser arm is on um, but when it's unboxed the lasers already uh, kicking but if it's boxed you have to press it so the one thing i haven't uh gotten to is this so let's see if we can change that and that is oh damn source okay. mm. i had it in my head earlier <laughs> let's see let's bring it down do, 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 do. no 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 Sensor control switch, right? Right. Okay, so I do have it. Um, let me see. So right is this one. I should change it to what they are. Okay. So right is down. Okay. So I guess I do have it. And then sensor SES is sensor sensor control switch, right? right short so by pressing it short it changes to soy by to the soi and then which let's do that scene is that ir auto scene okay so there we go so let's short the f blur i need to learn the soi but f blur to scene by pressing hotas da, 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 da. let's do scene scenes right there ensure heading select barometric altitude let's do that yep it is turn towards the target here we go Using the app flare. TDC the aiming point over one of the scud tells. Okay. Short pull the trigger to get laser range. Depress TDC to designate. Press the spacebar when complete. Oh, nice. So here we go. 
we're lining up. So dot over the scud tells TV which I believe that's what they are. Oh, but we're super high. We need to drop because the clouds. You can see that we got nothing here. <laughs> That's because the clouds are blocking it. It's this cloud right there. You see? That's fine. So, here we go. Zoom in accurately, right? Short pull the trigger. And then, there we go. We depressed, and this came up. So, we are lazed in. Why is the heading not working? Get on, get in track. So, we are going into, let's see how fast, 294, let's raise the speed a little bit. In Jadam away. Jadam away. Winchester. Jadam. All right. Continue hey. flying and keep the target in view on the app. Take that off. Wait that annoys me. Jadams have detonated. Then press the space bar. Scuds. There we go. Come on. They hit? Not yet. What are we waiting for? They are... Oh, shit. Oh. Nice. We caught it. Very, Altitude. very Altitude. sweet. Yeah, so it released both of them, but it only hit one. Yep, 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 yep.
Yeah, they're both gone. <laughs> Analyzing. Partial success. At least half the targets were successfully attacked. You may end the lesson now by pressing escape or continue flying by pressing the space bar. You hit spacebar, but it's stuck right there. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, that concludes our training for the J-Dance. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll see you guys in the air next time. Peace.